The recent peace accord signed by the candidates of all political parties in Kaduna State hasn't stopped violent clashes between the ruling People's Democratic Party and the All Progressives Congress. Recently, 32 persons were injured and 25 vehicles destroyed by suspected APC thugs during a PDP campaign rally at Bakinrua, Rigasa and Berenengwari villages. Although the governor had cautioned his supporters not to retaliate, both parties have clashed at various times and places, leaving many injured and property destroyed. It is disheartening to note that the LYA campaign organization obliged talks on Sunday who attacked PDP members and pulled down PDP billboards and then quickly went to press to discredit our party. Last Saturday, the governor went to Zaria. On Friday, ahead of Saturday's campaign, security agencies personally supervised destruction of our billboard and posters. I'm not just talking, I'll provide you evidence. As the accusations and counter-accusations continue, the state police command has warned that it will deal with any person or group that instigates violence before, during, and even after the polls. According to the Commissioner of Police, Umar Shehu, several people have already been arrested over the past incidents and will soon be arraigned. Since the last one we signed here with AIG, since they have not recorded any case of violence or any clash between the political parties, and even the tampering with the billboard and the posters has reduced. Three weeks to the presidential election, residents there are apprehensive that if not checked by security agencies, the growing political violence could lead to a total breakdown of law and order during the polls. <laughs>